Hello everybody, Slim Kirby here, welcome back to more Let's Play Pikmin. Today is day five, and today we're gonna go back to the Forest Naval to see if we can get even more work done. There's a lot we have to do though, especially since I wasn't able to make the most of my time in the last video, so... Uh, we have a lot of enemies we need to clear out if we want to make any progress in this video. Okay, so first, here are the numbers I'm going to be working with. 45 reds. 15 yellows. And 40 blues. These are the numbers we are going to use. Okay, so first, it would be really nice if I could find some nectar, so... Here's to hoping I can get some nectar from here. Hopefully I can flower as many Pikmin as I can. Come on. Come on, give me some nectar, thank you. Is that it? I think it is, okay. From the look of it, I think we have all flowers, so that's good. That's actually really good, so we're ready for that. Okay, now we need to take our Pikmin army and start splitting it. First we have the Red Pikmin. The Red Pikmin have a primary job of getting rid of these guys. Even though Red Pikmin are immune to the fire, they will lose their flowers and their buds if they get hit by the fire a few times, so keep that in mind, that they'll probably get less efficient as you battle them, but hey, it's the best way to get rid of these guys. I recommend throwing them on their back while the other Pikmin kind of charge forward. That's probably the best way to deal with them, in my opinion. And so far, I think it's going along pretty well. Make sure they don't throw your Pikmin too far, because there is water close by. Don't want your Pikmin to drown while you're fighting these guys. Oh wow, that one actually had three pellets? Or, no, just... Wait, no, yeah, it had three pellets. Wow, that's a lot. I wasn't expecting that many. Not only are we going to be fighting a lot of low hogs, we're also going to be fighting a lot of Wallywogs, too. And Wallywogs are the bane of many people's existences. Because they can be quite nasty to fight if you don't know the proper procedure of fighting them. Okay, so now I have to get rid of this guy. This guy can be very dangerous because he is very close to water. And sometimes he can even knock the Pikmin out of bounds, too like, off the map, which does obviously count as a death, so... Yeah, be careful of them. Or, be careful of that one. Okay, so now I think I'm done with my Red Pikmin. Now I need to start fighting these guys. The Wallywogs. And it's pretty good, because I have 40 blue flowered Pikmin to do this. Although it would help if I could actually locate them. Okay, yeah, they're over here. I'm still going to leave the yellows alone for right now, so... I'm just going to leave them right there. And here we go. We're going to go into the water now. Hopefully this isn't too bad. So basically, the basic procedure for dealing with these guys, what I like to do is I like to first lure them over, then just throw them on their back. When they're in the air, try to call your Pikmin back so they don't get knocked off and they'll just go back into your party. And yeah, just like, don't get like too impatient with these guys. Just, you know, throw Pikmin on its back one at a time. Or not like one at a time, but like, you know, a few Pikmin at a time. If 
if you like try to keep throwing, like it might jump before you finish throwing, and when it comes down, it will squash all of your Pikmin mercilessly. So, yeah, just be very careful. These guys don't have to be difficult, but they are. That's just the way they are. Oh, shoot. Shoot, shoot, get out of my way. Okay, that was, that was close. But yeah, that is basically how I fight Wally Wogs. Just don't get too trigger happy and just try to, you know, just try to focus on wearing it down. Don't try to focus on, you know, power killing it or anything. Okay, so the rocket part is pretty much secure, but I don't know if uh, these two enemies will actually, like, hinder our progress or not, so I'm gonna go ahead and destroy this one, or destroy this guy at the very least. Oh wow, this one's actually <laughs> putting up somewhat of a fight here. Okay, there we go. That guy. Perfectly timed my strategy here, so we should be okay. Okay. Now I'm gonna at least try to get this rocket part out of the water. I'm not going to try to get it back to the base, because that'll take up way too much time. And I really need to get moving if I want to get the rest of the rocket parts I need. Okay, so... Okay, this is actually going to work out for us, so... Yeah, I'm actually kind of glad it's going this way. Of course, this guy's still coming towards them, so... Hmm. Okay, that works, that works. That works pretty well, actually. Okay, so now, I need to grab the yellows, which are just up here. I don't want you guys to be looking for nectar. Maybe if we get done with this, you can do that, but... Now is not the time for such shenanigans. Okay, now I'm going to leave these guys right here, because we have a very tricky part right here. Well, tricky if you're carrying any Pikmin type besides red, because we have Fire Spouts over here, and yeah, your other Pikmin can easily get cooked by them, so first I'd lure the red Pikmin over here to start working on this little bridge, and then I'd go back and get what you have left and work with them. That way you aren't trying to guide a hundred Pikmin at once. Which is not a good thing to do. Heck, even 55 is pretty risky. But I'll work with it. I think you can put them up against this wall without them dying. So yeah, let's do that. Come over here, and there we go. Okay, next I'm going to make my numbers a little shorter. So I can... Dang it. Dang it, dang it. I did not want to do that. Okay, let's try to... Okay, that works. Okay, we have 40 blues again. I think you can still rescue a, pit, a Pikmin on fire if you just whistle at him a few times, but... I don't know. I've always been under the impression that that only works in Pikmin 2. But I think it also works in this game, so... Yeah, if your Pikmin get on fire, just try to put them out if you can. Okay, now I'm done with the blue Pikmin, so I can put them back this way. Or actually, I'm not done with them, so I have to do something with them over here, too. Okay, so let's put... Actually... Why do they do that? 
looks like a lot farther than they should be. Okay, I only need about, like, 20 of them. So I'll take some of you guys. Also, be careful that you don't throw your Pikmin into the dark abyss below you. Because, yeah, that's instant death if you do that, so... Do not be stupid. Be smart with your Pikmin. Okay, so yeah, they're gonna take that back. Meanwhile, we can focus on getting this other part. And after we get this, we can take the blues and go get that part that we were working on. Okay, there we go. We're done with this part. That's good. We'll pick one over here. Split it up so you can get your blues. I said blues, not yellows. So you can use them to get that little thermal current. And next we need yep. Oh shoot, I almost I almost killed my blue Pikmin right there. That was close. Okay, I think these are all my yellows, so next we're gonna throw you guys up here. Uh, I'm just going to have barely enough time for this, I think. I don't even know if I'll be able to get all the parts back or not. I don't know, it's going to be very close. Okay. That one only needs 15, so... Next, I'm going to take you guys over here. Okay. You guys, the blue Pikmin, and get what red Pikmin I have left. And you guys carry that part. Okay, dang it. I got one of the yellow. Oh, wait, shoot. No, no, get away, get away. Jeez, I wish. I wish Pikmin would stop being stupid sometimes. Okay, yeah, this is not going to turn out as well as I wanted it to, but this could have been a lot worse, so I'm going to take this as a victory. Well, I don't know. It could be very close. I really don't know what to make of this right now. I also wish I could get some of these enemy bodies, but I don't want to get too reckless. Okay. I'll see how far I can take this. It's gonna be very, very close. Oh yeah, this part's just now making it up here, so... Oh yeah, I don't know if I'll be able to get these two parts, but I'll definitely get this one. Oh wow, I don't even know if I'll get this one. Oh yeah, I'll get this one, but... Still. Okay, yeah. But hey, the good part- the good thing about this is, even though I'm only getting one part, I'll be able to get these two parts very easily, because they'll be right here when I come back on the next day. And then I can focus on getting the other two parts, and then finishing up the level, too. Which, I don't know if I'll actually be able to finish up the level or not. Because, um, one of the parts we have left takes a very long time to get to, and there's a boss for the other part, and I am not very good at the boss, so, yeah. But it's fine, though. It's fine, though. For what we did, I'm very proud of what we did, so... I have no shame for only getting one part on this day. Because it just means that I'll get, you know, three parts tomorrow, or Friday. Whenever my next update is.
If I didn't have any of that, like, you know, Pikmin switching weirdness, I probably could have gotten all three in, but... Eh, what are you gonna do? Oh, and sorry if you guys wanted to read those little scenes, because I've been skipping them without really, you know, reading them or anything. Also, I have a very, very small Pikmin population, I've noticed. You really don't need that much of, a, like, a big army or anything, but... You know, for what I'm doing right now, having a small army like this is kind of weird. But anyway, yeah, that was day five. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys next time for day six. This has been Slim Kirby, and let's play Pikmin. Later, folks.